Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B is Electronics. So in this brand new video I'll be showing you how to make your own wall clock, digital wall clock which is internet connected with the help of two P10 LED red boards in this case you can get it in any other color and it is powered by an ESP8266. So without wasting any more time let's dive into the video this will be a short and quick video. Uh, and the link to the circuit diagram as well as to the code will be given in the description as usual. So let's dive in. So this is the dual P10 LED board uh, clock com message board which is powered by an ESP8266 that I was showing in the intro. So this will be a short and sweet video. Uh, I won't be getting into too much detail into how to do the connection and all because I have already done a similar video. Uh, for a message board using these same two panels and as you can see in this view you can uh, replace that upper uh, alphabetic uh, scrolling message with any message of your own uh, so it is as I already told time come message board the previous one was only you can display messages uh, so this is how the back of the message board looks uh, there's a lot of wires and all of them will be running on the back of the message board uh, you can tidy it up uh, as you want but I have left them as is for this video's purpose so this is the ESP8266 which is being powered by this micro USB 5 volt 3 amp power supply uh, these are the main connection going into the input of the first P10 LED board and this is the pass through uh, for both the power as well as the signal to the second P10 LED board which is connected in here and you can also provide another parallel uh, connection with this for a third or fourth board but you have to upgrade your power supply for that for which you can take the output coming from this port. Uh, this is just a makeshift uh, hook so that we can hang it on the wall as you are seeing right now. Uh, so I think it looks quite professional and it's quite big. You can also uh, hang it uh, outside your uh, shop or home uh, to display both message as well as the time. So this is a uh, multi-purpose display and this is just a pass-through connection for the separate power for 5 volts uh, which has to be going into through these ports as you can see one is over here and another is over here. Uh, so all it is doing is taking the 5 volt uh, power from here from the ESP8266's output and the previous connection was here and but the micro USB port just broke off so I'm just using this ESP port. It serves the purpose. Uh, you have to do this uh, so that the brightness can keep up with it as well as this is the power supply for both the displays. So all of this will be situated on the back side of the display so all of you won't be able to see it. So let's take a quick look at the uh, code that we are going to follow for this video. So these are the basically the libraries that you require uh, as well as these of course and this is where you configure your DMD panel uh, that is I am using uh, two in the horizontal plane and one in the vertical plane if you stack in a vertical plane you can make it two also so that's that and next we come into uh, the SSID and the password for your Wi-Fi uh, or the Wi-Fi credentials to the local network that you will be connecting your USB 8266 to the SSID as well as the password. And uh, lastly, what we have to do is uh, if you want to uh, show any message, any particular message just like this, subscribe to Mr. Beater's Electronics. Uh, it's a shameless plug. Uh, so you can change this part that is line number 78 and this will be displayed uh, just like the message that you saw scrolling. Uh, so that's it for the whole uh, programming that you need to know. Don't change anything else. What you can do uh, if you want to, uh, if you are getting uh, error uh, error in timing, so what you can do is change this part. Uh, like we are five and a half hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, so I gave 5.5. Uh, you can change this and play with it. Uh, so that's the only place to go tinkering, uh, everything else is self-explanatory. So I hope all of you really enjoyed this video and if that's the case, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
and i hope this video was educational enough uh, so that you can make your own with the help of all the knowledge that i shared as well as the link don't forget to check out the description so that you can get the code as well as the circuit diagram and i hope to see all of you in my next video which will be exciting to say it in a subtle way